today we're going to go over surface area and volume of similar solids. So we did um, similar areas and perimeters. So this will be very, very similar to those notes. Um, so similar solids have exactly the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. And all spheres and cubes are similar. Now, whenever we're looking at similar, any type of figures, um, their corresponding angles are always going to be congruent. And their ratios for the angles for any similar shapes are just the same. So there's no squaring, there's no cubing or anything. It's just the scale factor itself. Um, corresponding sides are always proportional. And again, same, just the scale factor by itself. Um, lateral and total surface area. So these are areas. So they are proportionally and squared because remember they are two dimensional objects. All areas are two dimensional. So you have to square your scale factor. And volumes are three dimensional objects so they are proportionally cubed. So their scale factors are raised to the third power or cubed. All right, so for number one, we have two triangular pyramid, um, sorry, prisms, and we have to determine whether they are similar, congruent, or neither. So we have to check all of the corresponding pieces. So these go together, these go together, and you don't have to check, you have to check all of them if they're congruent, if they are not congruent, and you ever hit two that are not the same proportion, um, then they're not going to be congruent. So my yellow ones, I'm going to do big over small. It doesn't really matter. Um, and this is a coping mechanism for my ADHD. So I remember I'm doing big over small. So my yellows are eight over four, which is a ha uh, two. My pinks are six over three, which is two. My greens are eight over four, which is two. And my blues are 10 over 5, which is 2, meaning the scale factor for all these are 2, which means they're not congruent, but they are similar. And then these prisms, these go together, these go together, and these go together. So my yellow ones, again, I'm going to do big over small. You could do small over big, it doesn't matter. You just pick one. Um, I just do big over small because I do better with um, numbers larger than one. So, uh, but you can pick it whatever way you want to do it. My yellows are two over one, which is two. My pinks are two over one, which is two. And my greens are four over three, which is just four over three. So because they are not all the same proportions, they don't all have the same scale factor, then these are not similar or congruent. All right, so this says that two spheres have a radii of two and six feet. What is the ratio of the volume of the small sphere to the volume of the larger sphere? So small to larger means that small goes on top. So our scale factor, our regular scale factor, is 2 over 6, which if we reduce that is 1 third. So that's our one-dimensional scale factor. For volume, that is three-dimensional. So we need to cube our scale factor, which means that you will cube 1 third, which is 1 cubed over 3 cubed. Um, 1 cubed is just 1. If you're not sure, you can always go like this. Oops. And it's, of course, one three cubed is 27, so over 27. So this is our scale factor or ratio, whatever you want to call it. The next one says two similar cones have a surface area of nine square feet and 144 square feet respectively. What is the ratio of the volume to the small cone to the volume of the large cone? So this talks about the small one first, 
you have to start with a small one. So um, because we're already talking about surface areas, that means that our scale factor is squared because it's surface areas. And because it says um, the volume of the small to the large, small goes on top, large on bottom. Oops. Sorry. 9 over 144. Um, but in order to find the ratio for the volume, we need to find our regular scale factor first, which means we need to do just scale factor, not scale factor squared, which means that we need to square root this. So 9 divided by 144, if you press math, enter, enter, it will reduce that fraction for you to 1 over 16, which means it's the square root of 1 over the square root of 16. The square root of 1 is 1, the square root of 16 is 4. So my one-dimensional scale factor is 1 fourth. Then to find my volume, volume is three-dimensional, so you cube your one-dimensional scale factor, which is 1 cubed over 4 cubed. 1 cubed is 1, 4 cubed is 64. All right, now we have um, two spheres with their surface areas. They give us the surface areas, um, and we need to figure out what x is. So our surface areas are our scale factor squared because it's an area. And it doesn't matter if you do small or big or big over small, you need to choose. I prefer to do big over small just so I don't have to deal with fractions as much, or at least I can deal with numbers bigger than one. So if I'm doing big over small, that means that I have 324 pi, oops, <laughs> I said pi and wrote pi, 324 pi over 144 pi. Now my pi's cancel, and if I reduce that, 324 divided by 144, math, enter, enter, I get 9 fourths. So that's my scale factor squared. I need my one dimensional scale factor because radii are one dimensional. So my scale factor by itself would be the square root of nine over four, which is the square root of nine over the square root of four, which means that my scale factor is three halves. So since I'm doing big over small, I'm gonna do two X plus one over X plus two is equal to three over two and then you cross multiply. So three times x plus two is equal to two times two x plus one. Distribute your three and distribute your two. So that's three x plus six is equal to four x plus two. Subtract three x on both sides to get all your x's on one side. 6 is equal to x plus 2, subtract 2 on both sides, and x is 4. Um, these cones will be done the same way. Or I'm going to do big over small again. I need to separate this so I can actually see what I'm doing. All right. Um, Big over small. So if I do my scale factor squared, because it's surface area, right? And surface area, it tells you right here, is two-dimensional. So big over small would be 504 pi over 224 pi. My pi's cancel. 504 divided by 224, math, enter, enter, gives you 9 fourths. Now that's my scale factor squared. I need my regular scale factor, which means I'm gonna have to square root my scale factor squared. So the square root of nine over the square root of four, which gives me three halves. So if I'm still doing big over small, that means that I would do four X minus 10 over two X minus three. 
and then three over two. And again, the reason why we had to make it into a regular scale factor is because, again, we're looking at the radii, which is one dimensional. A radius is just a line, which makes it one dimensional. Then we cross multiply, and you have three times two x minus three is equal to two times four x minus 10, distribute. 6x minus 9 is equal to 8x minus 20. Subtract 6x on both sides. Negative 9 is equal to 2x minus 20. Add 20 to both sides. 11 is equal to 2x. Divide by 2 on both sides. And x is 5.5. That's the end of our notes.